Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I'm back at the beach, back at Horror Hands Beach. Bit of a grey day today, but this is my last day here so I thought I'd get this done today. Again, while I'm at the beach, I'll do another sea themed video for you. And I thought it'd be fun to just quickly go through five reasons to love Jaws of Revenge from 1987. So Jaws of Revenge, the fourth movie in the Jaws series, uh, the one that's often referred to as being the worst uh, out of all four. A movie that's actually referred to as being one of the worst movies of all time. And it certainly does have its silly elements. But it's a film which over time I've come to quite enjoy, to be honest. I've, I've mellowed out to, uh, to its silliness and some of the terrible elements of this film. So for this video, I'm going to go through five reasons to love Jaws the Revenge. Okay, first reason to love Jaws of Revenge is the location. So this one moves from Amity Island to the Bahamas, uh, which I didn't mind the change of location. The movie does start off at Amity and it's Christmas time, which didn't really work for me, made for quite a dreary feel to the film. So moving to the Bahamas where it's hot and has more of a summertime feel, I think worked better for the film. And there's some beautiful scenery and things like that. It just worked as a location for me. Also, I've seen quite a lot of horror films that are set like in the Bahamas, the Caribbean, on tropical islands. So putting the movie there gave Jaws of Revenge a bit more of an exploitation feel as well, which I really enjoyed. So first reason to love this film is the location. The second reason to love Jaws of Revenge is the shark itself. Now I have mentioned this in other videos, but the shark in Jaws of Revenge, I think is excellent. It looks really, really cool and really scary. After the first movie, I think that this one is the best looking shark. It really does look like quite a mean and nasty creature. It's got very kind of sharp pointy features, the sharp pointed snout, really sharp teeth really big sort of monstrous looking creature and yeah I don't know I've, I've always thought the shark from Jaws of Revenge is a really awesome looking thing. Yes it does spend most of its time out of the water and for most of the film it looks dry uh, but uh, uh, in terms of the look itself I do think the shark in this one is excellent. third reason to love Jaws of Revenge is all the crazy set pieces that go on in this film. And to be fair, this film does have a couple of quite well executed scenes. So the first one that comes to mind is the banana boat scene where the shark attacks the kids and the people riding the banana boat. It's actually a pretty well set up scene and it's kind of distressing to see like this sort of family activity being interrupted by this giant killer shark that's you know out to chomp on some kids and unfortunately that woman gets uh, gets attacked and eaten by the shark always thought felt pretty sorry for her actually in the film uh, so that scene was done really well we also get the shark attacking the aeroplane which is pretty awesome and we have that really good scene of the shark kind of playing cat and mouse with Michael Brody in the submerged ship where we see the shark kind of slinking through the dark corridors and sort of breaking through the walls to try and get to uh, uh, Michael Brody. Again, I thought that was a really well done scene. Uh, so yeah, amongst the, the silliness in this film, there are a few really good shark moments and I think they're done pretty well. fourth reason to love this film is Michael Caine as the uh, kind of laid-back plane pilot hoagie. So he just brings uh, an element to this film that is just quite a, kind of entertaining and fun to see. I don't care for kind of the love interest subplot between him and Ellen Brody. I could do without that. That was pretty boring. Um, but he's quite an enjoyable character in this film. He has some pretty good lines like the scene where he crash lands a plane and the shark attacks him. That's pretty fun. Uh, and then, of course, the I deliver laundry 
line, which was always very strange, but I believe that harks back to a subplot in the film that was left out where he's actually involved in an organised crime circuit on the island and delivering laundry means something something else, delivering something else. But uh, yeah, he is just a fun one to see and I do have a real strange fascination about seeing established Hollywood actors starring in trashy horror films. I just love to see that for some reason. And then there's of course the famous line from Michael Caine when he was asked about this film, uh, he said he'd not seen the film and he'd heard it was terrible, uh, but he has seen the house that it paid for and that was pretty spectacular. So can't argue with a great line like that. And the last reason to love George's Revenge kind of harks back to the cool set pieces I was talking about before, but the roaring shark. So yeah, any scene with a giant killer shark looming out of the ocean and roaring is going to be sp pretty spectacular in my world. I know it's completely silly, it makes no sense, uh, it's not anything that sharks can do in real life, but I just found that scene really, really awesome. And as a kid, it was kind of scary as well, that roar did sound quite ominous and quite threatening. Uh, so as implausible as that scene is uh, in, in what is a pretty terrible film. I do think it is quite effective and a little bit scary on some level. But yeah, yeah, you've got to find a giant killer shark roaring to be pretty cool, in my opinion. So there we go, guys. That's five reasons to love Jaws of Revenge. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you agree with any of the points that I made or am I just talking nonsense and this movie is as bad as what everybody says it is. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.